doormat. You poor dear. Absolutely no television for you tonight. You simply must get some sleep for a change. All you do is sit up night after night glued to that set. My lands, I never saw such a man. Seven o'clock? Don't you dare leave this table till you finish your dinner. John, for your own good, you've got to get some sleep. You've been dead on your feet for days. I want to watch television. I want to watch television. I want to watch television. Please let me watch television, Jane. Huh? Please. Well, all right. <laughs> But just till 8 o'clock. John, mother called today. Poor dear. She <laughs> fell down the basement stairs. <laughs> well. You've got to get your mind off television. Heaven knows there's plenty more to do around here if you could tear yourself away from that set for a while. Now go down and putter around your workshop. Do you want the set on, dear? If I can't watch TV, I'll go back to my workshop. Now I can watch my favorite program. John Dormat! Yay! Now you get some sleep. You've been up every night for as long as I can remember. Mark my words, if you don't get some rest, I don't know what's going to happen. My goodness, your whole world revolves around that set. <laughs> if you turn on that set again, so help me, I'll blow it up. You wouldn't dare. All the sets are gone. Boy, is she in for a surprise. 
This is for your own good, John Doormat. You're acting like an overgrown child. I'm just not going to put up with it any longer. You must get some sleep. I'm getting good and tired of this carrying on. You might think of my feelings once in a while. I need sleep too, you know. <laughs> now stay tuned for our early, 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 early show. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 